always watching out for you. This is KOAA News 5. Hi there, I'm Elizabeth Watts with this News 5 update. David Lake, the man accused of abusing and killing his former girlfriend's three-year-old daughter, found guilty of murder by an El Paso County jury on Tuesday afternoon. Bella Rich rushed to the hospital in October 2017. She was found unresponsive, suffering from injuries to her head, chest, stomach, and legs. She died at the hospital, and her death was ruled a homicide. Lake was arrested six months later. We'll keep you posted on his sentencing. The investigation continues into what sparked the Blaney fire that burned more than 400 acres and destroyed at least two structures in eastern El Paso County on Monday afternoon. It has been contained, but firefighters say they may never know the exact cause because it moved so quickly. Although it is believed the fire started near the intersection of Highway 94 and Blaney Road. Crews continue to mop up hot spots out there. Let's get to Mike Daniels now. It's starting to feel like fall out there. Finally is, Elizabeth. A strong cold front blasted through last night, so temperatures today about 20 degrees cooler. That makes us hit 68 in the spring, 73 in Pueblo, Trinidad, the hot spot in Colorado. But take a look at how chilly in northeastern Colorado. Afternoon highs only into the 50s. Our lows tonight, these numbers actually a little bit warmer than where we should be. An average low in Pueblo this time of year is 40, not close. In the springs, we average about 41 for a low this time of year. So even in the springs, warmer than average. Highs tomorrow, nice and warm. We're back into the 70s, although we'll start with low clouds, fog, maybe some drizzle early in the morning. That's a product of that moist upslope flow. Then sunshine from 10 a.m. through the afternoon hours, getting a little windy out of the west in Colorado Springs during the afternoon, gusts up around 30 to maybe 35 miles per hour. Now the cold front comes in late Wednesday night, so Thursday are high only 60 degrees. Take a look at how chilly it is early Thursday morning. Warmest day of your weekend will be Saturday with dry skies.